normally when I do things like that and I watch it back, I be cringing so hard like Janine, oh my gosh. But that is just my personality. Sometimes I'm a little bit over the top and other times I'm so chill, you wonder if I'm good. guys welcome to my channel it looks scary I just woke up but um I wanted to start getting a few other things together that I'll be um taking for the weekend so um that is currently what I'm trying to do it should be a very nice chill weekend so that's exciting yeah so it should be a nice chill weekend According to what I heard so I shouldn't need to pack too many things this morning when I was call, calling out from work because I was scheduled to work so I had to call out I'm just like wow it really is just so easy to just call out and normally on the weekends when other people call out I'm just like I really don't get why people always call out from work on the weekends or whatever obviously people have plans that were made for the weekend why they had to call out for the weekend I'm bringing two pairs of fuzzy socks because those absolutely keep me warm. Chances are I won't need them, but either way. I have this little um, weekend bag here. It's Ralph Lauren. One of my friends had given it to me so long ago. So that's what I'm gonna just pack everything in because I shouldn't need too much stuff. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna just go ahead finish packing some stuff here. At this point, I don't even know what shoes, what shoes, um, I'm gonna have I guess I have to just see the outfits that I have my battery just died and I had to change it and what's crazy is when I was gonna start recording I was gonna change this battery and put it on the charger Monday morning when we leave because we're gonna be seeing two nights tonight was what Saturday night and Sunday night Monday morning when we leave I'm gonna go to work straight from there so I need to find something that I'm comfortable wearing to work from there that means I need to bring my watch and the charger and those little things. It's just so hard because I don't even know what we're going to be doing. Anyways guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish figuring out what I'm going to take with me. And then um, probably covering the speaker. I'm going to finish figuring out what I'm going to take with me. And then I will come back. But right now I really have to get it together to see what I'm actually going to take. I feel like my face is so dry and so white. Pretty much figured out most of the things that... I want to take and um i currently have this carry-on suitcase that i'm gonna pack i guess both or stuff and i already feel like i have too much stuff but one woman don't so i'm trying to figure out what i'm gonna wear right now and like i was saying before i had to pack something that i'm gonna wear to work on monday because we're gonna leave there and go straight to work i'm gonna leave there and go straight to work on monday so I need that pretty much figured out. I'm gonna take this, and I'm putting my stuff at the bottom, so whatever else is left could just go on top of it. Those two underwear for my um, and I'm pretty much packing everything together. I was gonna use this little bag, but that would be too many bags. Okay, okay. So um, I. I haven't figured out if I want to wear, um, Monday I asked to go to work at 12 o'clock because, um, we have two nights booked, so it's tonight, which is Saturday night, and Sunday night. You gotta get your money's worth, right? So, um, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna actually do anything today, but, um, I have one pair of jeans here. Oh, alright, let me start with this green one. So I have this green one, right, which I could wear this top with. Or this little white top here. Love that. So that right there could be two different outfits. The two tops with the one. But those two tops I could also wear with the one denim. I have three denim. I don't understand why women need this, this much stuff, honestly. I really don't need three denim and the one... Um, I, I don't, so I'm probably gonna leave one. Well, I have to wear something today. So I'll wear this today and that yellow top.
So guys, I finally got done packing. Everything is in that little carry-on on the bed. And I'm gonna sit in the living room right now and straighten my hair. But I think I showed you guys before that this is what I plan to wear. It's nice weather outside, so I'm gonna wear my Sam Edelman slides. I'm gonna wear this top. And those and everything else is already packed in there. These I need to put back because those will not go. And these I'll put in my little pocketbook right here. To carry with me oh gosh no deodorant is in there oh a perfume is in there deodorant um body splash maybe i'll take this one this one is my favorite um and that's pretty much all i think don't need nothing else anything else is excessive so guys, I went in and straightened my hair and the ends were so straggly, I decided that I'm going to trim them myself. Keep in mind, the scissors that I had was not specifically for hair, but I feel like I did pretty good with like trimming it and stuff. So there's a chance that it might not go because the scissors was not for hair. I mean, I don't really know how these things work, but nonetheless, it looks way better than it did before and the living room floor is full of hair, so I need to go fix that real quick. I also feel like when my hair is bone straight like this, it shows how much my head shapes like a pea. My face is so long. Okay, okay. I also feel like I kind of set myself up when I straighten my hair like this because right now, it's so easy to deal with. Like I can throw it up in a bun. I could do so much and it's so easy. And I'd be feeling like I really would go back and relax my hair. The only thing that is really stopping me from doing that is because I know that my hair is at it it's healthiest right now it has never been this healthy when i had my hair relaxed it wasn't growing at all like i think i should have like an old clip of the last time i um i relaxed my hair and i'm gonna see if i can find it to show you guys just it wasn't thriving okay it was bad it was all bad I'm waiting on food. The, what you guys are seeing right now is me after my hair is straightened because it was looking a little puffy so I had to go in and kind of like fix that up before I was ready to go. I feel like I'm always so thirsty and I'm wondering if it has anything to do with the vitamins that I take. Chances are it does, which if it does, I'm very happy that, you know, it's requiring me to drink more water so I'm trying to do that. Anyways, it was very off topic. But um, yes, I went in and straightened my hair. I also trimmed the ends and this is what she's looking like in like a kind of little ponytail. And that will have to do it for this weekend, honestly. But um, this morning I went in and I um, groomed my brows and let me show you guys really quickly what I use normally when I do that at home. I'm gonna insert a clip right here to show you guys um, how it looks like in the process and everything. It looks a little crazy, but bear with me. And this is what I use. I use the Veet. Normally, if I had the Nair, I would use the Nair too. So I'd use either the Nair or the Veet to just outline it like you guys seen and leave it on for like five, 10 minutes and then I'm able to wipe it off and it's like nice and together. Right now I have them filled in a little bit, but when I put it on to I kind of do this to see like how I want them to be shaped and I put the nair exactly there like you guys seen. You don't keep it on for too long because this is not for your face, so it probably would burn a little bit. So I don't necessarily keep it on for too long and then I just wash it off and she's ready. I've never gone and gotten my brows threaded or waxed or anything like that. Every time my brows are done, I'd normally do them myself at home, which love that for me because a girl is saving the coins because these things really add up. Like all these are maintenance type things that we do and they all be adding up over time when you go every two weeks or however often it is that you go to go and like get these things done. They really do be adding up. Let me see if my watch needs to be updated before I need to call out tomorrow again. So let's turn that on. This morning too, when I called out, 
one of my coworkers called me at like seven o'clock and she was just like, you okay? So I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Uh, she said, <laughs> she said, is it the Rona? And I said, no, I just have like a headache or whatever. So I called out. The job wouldn't have to pay you for this time that you called out for, so it's not that serious. I guess it just comes down to reliability and like they need you for it, they need you for. But yeah, so tomorrow I'm gonna need to do it again because I was scheduled, I was scheduled to work um, today and tomorrow. So how I'm gonna make up for that is the two days off that I would have gotten during the week, I'm gonna make them up at my other job so that my pay is not short, okay? Okay. <laughs> um, so that's how I kind of balance that and how like the two jobs come in in a, in a moment like this. Guys, this video is getting a little bit long. Um, stay tuned for, you know, vlogs from this weekend, I guess. I'll see if I vlog because it's supposed to be more of like a relaxing weekend, but you know, I'll find, probably find some time to vlog because I am bringing my camera and stuff with me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I will see you guys in the next vlog. <laughs> Normally when I do things like that and I watch it back, I be cringing so hard like Janine, oh my gosh. But that is just my personality. Sometimes I'm a little bit over the top and other times I'm so chill, you wonder if I'm good. Anyways, see you guys in the next vlog.